Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ken Busby, your cultural czar, a member of the board of directors of the Tulsa Symphony, and we're here today for our musician moment with the incomparable John Rush. How are you, John? Привет, мой друг. Which is Russian for... <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> I just said you're the czar. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I was going to say, it's Russian, but I don't know what he's saying. Um, let's see, you speak French... Uh, Russian and you speak a third language. Is it uh, I speak Spanish, a little bit of Japanese, and I'm starting Hebrew right now. Okay, uh, that's impressive. Uh, <laughs> and we'll like just leave it there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it is what it is. So, John is the uh, you are uh, telling our audience here the principal flute for the Tulsa Symphony. And so, you know, these are just a chance to get to know our musicians better. And so we've been having a lot of fun with that. So I am curious about a couple of things. One, how how did you come to play the flute? How did I come to play the flute? Well, my mom is a pianist and she was my first piano teacher. Okay. So I, I had to start on the piano. Right. Um, but I didn't want to play the piano because okay. my mom did, my sister did, my brother did. I wanted to do something different. Right. Um, and I remember being one of those pesky little children that like when I was first learning Fur Fur Elise by mm -hmm. Beethoven, right. I would constantly put in a wrong note in one spot. Just because when my practice time was when it was time for her to cook dinner. And because uh -huh. the, the piano was on the opposite wall of where the kitchen was. Okay. And so I would be practicing, practicing, and I'd put in an F natural. And she'd be like, F sharp. <laughs> and then I'd do it again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then she's like, if you're not going to practice correctly, then your time is done. And I'm like, oh, my time's done. <laughs> so I did it for that. Uh -huh. um, but okay. so one day, many months after learning that piece, I was supposed to be practicing. And Sesame Street was on at the exact same time. And it was an episode that James Galway was on. And he oh, was yeah. talking with Big Bird. And I think it's on YouTube. I think you might be able to find a, a okay. grainy version of it on YouTube. Okay. Where Big Bird says A, and then James Galway plays an A. B, Galway plays a B. You know, they play all of the musical notes. And then, you know, Big Bird says, what comes next? And he plays this cute little piece afterwards. And, you know, Big Bird's like, well, that's not how I expected it to go. And um, I saw him playing, and I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to play that instrument. Whatever that is, I want to play it. And so wow. my parents decided, okay, this is what he said he wants to do. So we'll get him a flute. So we got a flute for Christmas. And um, I remember getting it. I was very excited. And I opened it up, and I'm like, uh, his was gold. This is silver. I don't think it's the same thing. How funny. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's kind of my story of how I became to play the flute. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is so cool. The The power of Sesame Street. Look look what it did. It does yeah. so many good things, but it, 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 it led you to the flute. So do I understand correctly that sometimes you use a, a wooden mouthpiece on your flute? Yes, I do. Sometimes I use it... Um, it it depends on the music we're playing. Sometimes I'll use it if we're playing Baroque music. Okay. Um, or sometimes I'll use it if we're playing uh, Beethoven or Brahms okay. when I want to like really blend well with the other woodwinds in the section. Um, okay, okay. Usually the flute being all metal, is it has this timbre that can be a challenge to blend because all of the other woodwinds are actually wood oh <laughs> the right flute, right the flute being made out of metal it um it gives it um some sparkle and some brilliance but it can sometimes stick out like a sore thumb when you want to create this you know this nice blend of woodwind interesting so just because i don't know do they actually make wooden flutes the whole body yeah, did you make the whole body yep you can still get wood flutes i played on one um, for a few years, um, and we did one performance of Debussy's Prelude to the Afternoon of Fawn, where I actually used a wood flute. Wow, that's cool. So, uh, preference overall? Is there one, or does it just depend? Uh, I think it depends, because they both have unique characters. Mm -hmm. um, I, but I do like a wood flute, because it's a little bit warmer a little bit darker kind of more I like wondered. mellow creamier sounding okay okay cool cool yeah. now I, I also know you uh, you uh, teach flute teach music uh you're a professor at tcc tulsa community mm -hmm. college right uh and and uh are you, are you still working uh 
teaching at the BART as well? No, I'm not at the BART anymore, but okay. I've been teaching at TU. TU was the first job that I actually got in Tulsa. Okay. Years ago. <laughs> years ago. And, and when did you join the Tulsa Symphony? Uh, my first season was their first full season. So That's what I I've thought. Been here, I've been here 14, almost 15 years this summer. Right, right. Because uh, I always feel like you're, well, yeah, so you and the uh, Tulsa Symphony grew up together. Uh, but I always, I, I just always associate you with it. It's like, John's been here always. He, you're just a fixture in the, in the community and a fixture uh, in the symphony. And I think that's cool. I mean, that makes you just a really cool member of the, of the TSO family, you know. Um, but with all of your teaching at TU and TCC and everything, is there such a thing as downtime in your life? Uh, right now is downtime. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the, the schedule for most musicians is one of what I tell my students at the universities. When you're busy, you are really busy. Mm-hmm. When you're not busy, you really aren't busy. Mm-hmm. And so you have to take those times when you aren't busy to rest, take care of yourself, but also to hone on some skills that you need to work on. So this is okay. a perfect time for that. Mm-hmm. Cool. So all right, So when, when you're not honing your skills and you really need to get let it go for a while, what do you like to do? Um, I, I actually like to paint. I okay. like to watercolor. Um, I'm starting to get into some acrylics. I have a, a friend that's a, a really wonderful artist that does some stuff with Disney. And um, she's been pushing me gently along to learn to use acrylics more and do some stuff anything you want to share with us today (laughs) why yes can i happen to have this right here just a moment (laughs) no i don't well actually i have my planner and i doodle in my planner actually okay um and let's see i might have something in here that i've doodled it's just an idea actually yeah i do like, see if I can get that in. Oh, can yes. Can you even see it? Yes, perfect. Very clear. The flowers? Yes, very nice. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, stuff man. Like, stuff like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have doodled in here. Oh, uh, like, here's a little thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whatever that is. Little flowers in a basket <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Yes, okay. And this is this, is this week's. Nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So right now, I'm in the I'm in the process of florals. I, I, I had a feeling. I was see, I was sensing florals. Had you said I, I I'm into uh, uh, you know modern lines and Modigliani or something, I would have like really really is that how you feeling? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, also uh, one of your master's degrees is from Indiana University at Bloomington. Yes. And my master's is from Indiana. And um, so I, I always like that connection. How did you enjoy your time in Hoosier in Hoosier country? <laughs> um, I, I enjoyed it, but it was also a stressful time because when you're working on a master's degree, and actually I have two masters from right. Indiana. Oh, I didn't realize um, that. Okay. Yeah, one is in uh, historical transverse flute performance, right? Which basically means Renaissance, Baroque, and classical period flutes. Okay, because I knew, I knew you liked early music. I knew that was one of your interests and passions. Yeah, okay. Is in hist- like music history of the Baroque. Okay, okay. All right. So, yeah, you spend a lot of time. So, history, yeah. So, this may, this may answer that question a little bit, but I was thinking if you, if you weren't playing the flute today, even though you're not playing right this second, but if, if that weren't what you were doing, what, what do you see yourself doing? What would you be doing? You know, I, I had thought in the past of either being like a veterinarian or a librarian. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, two completely <laughs> different things. Hmm, okay. Uh, got nothing there. I don't know where to even go with that one. Uh, well, I, I, I hear your animals in the background occasionally. That's actually my neighbor's animals. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I've got the dog sitting right by me. He's quiet, and the cat's laying around somewhere. <laughs> yes, I, yes I, I knew you had pets. Okay, so veterinarian, and then, and I think the librarian for history and books and, and just Yeah, and I, I like to research, so I think that could be why. That's cool. That's cool. 
Well, John, listen, uh, it's been fun chatting with you today. Thank you for taking some time to do that. Uh, you're going to give us a little performance to, uh, now. Uh, so I'll invite our audience to sit back and listen. But what, what are you going to perform for us? Uh, since we're talking early music, I'm going to play one of the Fantasias by Georg Philipp Telemann. Uh, this one is, it's in B-flat major. It's the fourth fourth of the twelve. Um, and most people would play Bach or something like that. But I think... Telemann is a composer that so infrequently gets performed because Bach does everything on such a grand scale. True, true. Okay, well, that, that'll be fun. So, well, all right, we will uh, I'll invite the audience to sit back and we will enjoy your performance of Telemann. Uh, John Rush, Principal Flute with the Tulsa Symphony, thank you for sharing your time today. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you in person uh, very, very soon. Okay, sounds great. All right, take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.